Radi Geok in Tashigang Zongkak is an endless expanse of terraced paddy fields. In autumn season, Radi is covered in a blanket of gold. One of the most fertile areas in eastern Bhutan, Radi grows around eight different varieties of rice, including the famous local variety, Sorbang. Rightly so, it is called the rice bowl of the east. However, in recent years, large tracts of this wetland have been lost to landslides and soil erosion. Such environmental hazards have directly affected many households of Radi, reducing rice production and also undermining household food security and self-sufficiency. Close to 200 acres of productive agriculture land were at risk of being washed away had it not been for proper and timely interventions. The landslides also destroy traditional irrigational channels, putting further pressure on the already limited water resources available for paddy cultivation. With the support of United Nations Development Program in Bhutan, Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program, and Comdex, Sajing Yuntin Tokpa initiated a series of conservation activities to stabilize the land, prevent further erosion of the wetland, and reduce pressure on the environment and vulnerability to climate change. The community-based organization constructed causeways at critical locations to reduce the speed of water and to prevent formation of rills and gullies downstream. This has directly benefited the villagers by conserving over 200 acres of wetland and also helped in feeding irrigation water to over 60 acres of wetland, benefiting more than 50 households. Further, the construction of the causeways has also helped farmers to revive fallow land for cultivation through improved irrigation and availability of water for cultivation. Almost four acres of fallow land have been revived for cultivation so far. Niom utu kasve mafile ga goma kan ni kangel shuni rigi horbuni ni utu kaypo ni ri manung baga chujing ni lusni dihantong ba luswa ga thamchera ni yante ke thinta ni ni zaje ali re baga sa khanik chingpang thuriwa ni shulela. Niom utugi om maung baga udabu SGP project ke jabjur thur ni udo nang manang ma ni udo kasve thur mawa ati ning ni nikun samphang jabke dabu thur ginila ni udu ning goma gai rang udu sa zali markhan tamati ni om dareke bu sa zali mar baga lushudu ani ni jante ka niom sem udo thur ni mini om shunja. The group also constructed check dams along the streams to prevent flooding and erosion downstream. Buffer zones were created at mass sliding and erosion prone areas by fencing and planting trees and bamboos. Over 3,500 trees and bamboos, including 10,000 napier grass saplings, were planted in these areas. In addition to stabilizing the land, the people of Radi hope that they would be able to sustainably harness timber, bamboo and fodder with minimal impact on the environment in years to come. <laughs> The group also established a local feed processing unit as a common property to improve availability of quality animal feeds 
and also to generate cash income for the group through sale of local feeds. Further, the group carried out water resource conservation activities by protecting the blessed spring water trechu at Radi. The group also built a dustbin near the trechu to reduce pollution. The conservation works carried out by the group have substantially reduced erosion of wetland, increased rice yield and enhanced food security and improved the environmental conditions in Radi. Altogether, these endeavors have helped in conserving the traditional rice varieties that Radi is most known for. The villagers are positive that they would continue to be the rice bowl of the East. Sim <laughs>